Okay, welcome to another video, Starman Astro. Now this is a really, really quick video, this. Oh, I always say that, don't I? Um, what it is, is I'm due to go out to Tenerife tomorrow uh, to do an astronomy photography workshop. And I'm going to be there all week. So I'm going to be there during the Gemini meteor shower, that's the whole point. Uh, but there also happens to be a comet in the sky as well, so that'll be something to look out for. So I'm hoping for really clear skies in Tenerife and uh, you normally get that over there as well. So that's uh, that, that, that should be pretty good. So hopefully I'll be doing um, some videos while I'm over there and uh, I can put them out here of all the different types of things that I'm going to be photographing, how I'm going to go about photographing them and all that sort of thing. But anyway, what I want to do in this quick video is just to show you uh, this, this rig here. Uh, this is my latest um, ast astrophotography rig. And what it is, is if I just flip this camera now. Okay, so here we are. Here we have the, um, this is my new Fornax 10 light track tracking mount and uh, what this does is it attaches to a tripod as you can see here I've got it on a standard tripod and uh, this thing here is the poloscope and that needs to be aligned with the pole star so that needs to be pointing towards the pole star and when, when you've got all that set up and turn the thing on there's a switch down here somewhere to turn it on there's a few different options on it but uh, when you turn it on it will then start to track uh, the sky. Now depending on how well you have aligned the polar scope will depend on how well it tracks because these things aren't perfect. I mean if you would stick a tele... I've got a long lens on there at the moment and now if I, uh, I would have to have it fairly accurately polar aligned to make sure that that tracks for a few minutes you know without showing any trails in the stars but if you're using a wide lens you probably don't even need this scope. All you need to do is point this hole toward, roughly towards the pole star and you can get several minutes using a wide lens and that won't be a problem. You can get some pretty amazing pictures. So anyway, this is my setup which I just wanted to show now and I'm going to be using this out in Tenerife uh, all week. Um, I haven't really had a good chance to use it so far uh, but what I will be using it with is a telescope. So I'll be putting the telescope on here. Now I just wanted to show you my old system, which there's nothing wrong with, and this is my old one, the Astro Track. It's been a really good track of that, so that's my old one. Nothing wrong with it at all. I just wanted something a bit newer, that's all. So I've got this uh, this Fornax Light Track 10 mount, and I'm going to give this a. I heard some good reviews for it, so I'm going to give this a whip. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I'm hoping to be putting some videos out during my stay in Tenerife, some vlogs and that, and, and how I go about using this particular mount, how I set it up and all that sort of thing. So keep watching and hopefully um, we'll be able to, I'll be able to get some pretty good stuff out there because that's the whole point of going to Tenerife. The Canary Islands are a really, really good place to go for astronomy and astronomy photography. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.